So if you are ready, we go. I am ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about your new single, Girlfriend? Is out everywhere and it's a total certified banger. Uh, so <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, is there a, a frequent feeling that you, you have after one of your songs is out? How, do, how, how does it feel? And how, how are you now? I, I've gotten in the habit of knowing that when a, whatever song that I make, it's not really about myself. Um, it's really about if people like it, so if people like it, great. Um, and I, I, it's, that goes for all of my songs. Every song that I play, I get up on stage and I realize, wow, this isn't even about me. This is about people just feeling something and uh, relating to the song and kind of like injecting life into it. Um, I say injecting life into it. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of the same way I feel about Girlfriend too. I love Girlfriend. Yeah, so um, before Girlfriend, you put out a song about quarantine. And as oh, you yeah. said in an interview, um, you find it hard to communicate with words. So you try to put emotions into music. And how did quarantine affect your you know, creative process and your music? Well, quarantine really put me back into, um, it put me back into like 2006 when we didn't have a lot of cell phones. Um, and it was a lot of nights of just kind of letting thoughts circulate in my head. And that's kind of how I used to think. But, you know, now we have these devices that you, know, you can look at Twitter and you can look at videos. So it was kind of, I kind of put myself back in 2006 where I didn't have any technology in front of me. And I kind of just organically wrote that song in my noggin. Uh, apart from your music, you also recently worked for other artists such as John Legend, Katy Perry, uh, mm. Five Seconds of Summer. Do you find it easier uh, easier to write or produce your stuff or other people's? I I find it easier to make my own stuff. It's always uh, because every time I, <laughs> I, I... The songs that I write for other artists don't seem to be... They, they don't seem to like be as popular as the ones that I write for myself because I have such a sonic stamp and I have such a sound that I guess, I guess my melodies are like really like all over the place. For me, it's just like, oh, I can, you know, I can of course sing this high C sharp to a, to a E flat, but I know that's like not in everyone's vocal range. So I know it's, I, I gotta write like easier stuff for other people. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you're 28. Already, won, already have five Grammy nominations, two Billboard Music Awards, one Critic Choice Awards, one Golden Globe nomination. What are your goals now? I want the Oscar. <laughs> for for which movie? Cool. For which movie? Whatever a movie that I score a song to, that would be super cool. I don't know. Wow! Okay. Wow! Well, well. So, but um, let's go back in time. Uh, See You Again was the best-selling song in 2015. It was and still is a big success, but it also has become like a reaction song for sad videos and a meme. Have you ever used your song as a meme? And how does it feel? It's... I actually heard a couple of older songs of mine used as memes on... I, I'm like, you know, I'm mindlessly scrolling through TikTok, and I hear a joke song that I made in like 2013, even before See You Again, being used, and everyone's like reminiscing, like, oh, these are the good old days of TikTok. I'm like, I wasn't aware that this was even around <laughs> on the internet. So, I mean, See You Again brought me back to um, uh, Los Angeles when I had to, when I, from Miami, I had to fly to LA to play it at Kobe's uh, uh, at the NBA Finals uh, in honor of Kobe. So, I mean, See You Again lives on forever. I love that song. Yeah. And um, another big collab that you had last year was with BTS. You performed mm -hmm. in South Korea with mm -hmm. Jungkook, your song, We Don't Talk Anymore. And then with yeah. the group, Make Love. And uh, I am a huge fan, so I think both performances were very good. And I love I, I love his voice. I love I love yeah. that. I love those guys. Yeah. 
and also BTS is very well known for being uh, rightly highly selective about who they decide to work with. So I'm curious to know how did it all happen? How did it all start? I think those guys have just been a fan of mine uh, for quite some time and um, that made me very happy because mutually I was a big fan, I am still a big fan of their, theirs as well. And I, I don't know, it just all happened organically and isn't that just the best way for things to happen? And last but not least, Elton John. I saw an interview of you, oh, yeah. uh, where, where you explained how everything happened. Uh, I got chills. Did you actually pick up the phone and it was like, hi, darling, it's Elton? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what, every time he writes me an email and every time he calls me, he starts with that. It's pretty, he's a classic man and he's very, very sweet. We wrote such a good song. Think like, don't let the sun go down on me plus attention. It's really cool that I got to work with a legend as well. When we, when we will uh, a year, what, what you've been working on? Next year, next year you'll definitely hear it. We're just we trying to, to find it. Go ahead. Yeah, we have to wait, so still a little Yeah, you have to wait. What fun is it if you don't wait? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, last question is a little game. So uh -huh. uh, now, do you know any words in Italian? I, I prob probably, if I was, if I, if someone said it to me, I'd probably be like, ah, I remember that word, but not really. Okay, so we're gonna give you a list of like three or four words, and you mm -hmm. have to guess the meaning. So if you know it, then it's cool. Otherwise, you have to guess. Okay. Okay. So tell us what do you think it means in Italian? Okay. All right, I'm I'm about to offend all of Italy. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. The first word is spiaggia. Scadda. Spiaggia. Spiaggia. Do I get a hint or I just have to literally guess out of like a million meanings? Spa spiaggia. Oh. Um, um, I can tell you that it's not a material thing. It's more like oh, a yeah. place. Spiaggia. Um, that sounds to me like Italy's best pasta restaurant. Let's all go down to <laughs> Spaggia's and have, and have some pasta. Am I right? Um, uh, it can happen, but uh, unfortunately, that means the beach. Oh, you can have yeah, the best okay. pasta at the beach, but yes, you it, can it's not have the best pasta at the beach. Uh, you yeah. guys eat so late, you're like, Oh, it's time for dinner at 1 30 in the morning. Yeah, I mean, it depends on where you are in Italy because at the north, we quite like soon. You're right, how you're more late, right? But, so on, um. What do you think imprenditrice digitale means? <laughs> Imprejudice digitale. Um, Imprejudice. Um, uh, imprenditrice uh, digitale. Two words. Two words. Something digital. Yes, yes. it is. Yes, it is. Um, Someone. Di uh, di di digital, di uh, digital marketing? I don't know. Yeah, something similar. It's like it's a word that is connected to a girl. I don't even know her. She. Uh, oh, a digital girl, a a, a blow up doll. Oh, a, a, so, a social media influencer, influencer yeah. girl. Ah, I yeah. got it. First try. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Next word, fidanzata. Fidanzata. Um, she, <laughs> she is the uh, person that flies over Italy and makes sure that everybody's social distance and you don't want to visit from Fidem Fata. It's a word that you know very well if you think mm -hmm. of music. Fidem Fata, this is a hard game. Uh, <laughs> does it mean to slow down? No, or, no, it's, uh, it's a person. So think of your, of your music and your songs mm -hmm. and the titles of your songs. Fidem Fata? It's a person. Mm -hmm. It's a person in my song. I'm going through all my songs right now. Uh, the person I wrote attention about? Who? I don't know. No, it means your friend. Ah, Fidem Fat. Wow, that's, that's, that's the word for girlfriend? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Baby, would you ever want to be my Fidem Fata? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a nice ring. <laughs> yeah, it sounds cool. So, yeah. um, last word is 
Puffy. Puffy. Uh, it's my nickname, but of course, in Italia. In Italian, it, it means Smurfs. You know, those like blue cartoon. Puffy. Okay, I don't know. I didn't know that. I actually don't even know anything about the Smurfs it's a either. Cartoon, but in Italian, sounds a lot like your surname. Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. Uh, I did so just, well. We just killed this interview with this game. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm, the be I'm the most, and I'm the MVP of the Italian yeah, guest. Yeah, very <laughs> well. <laughs> so uh, well, what I'm asking you uh, as the last thing is uh, to say hi to our listeners. So uh, the name of the show is Say What on Radio DJ. So if you just say okay. hi. Hi, this is Charlie Puth, and I'm saying hello to all the listeners on Say What on Radio DJ.